This is ECU 411, and in this video, I'm going to show you programming the ECU 411 with the BDMNT and the Ulink NT. First, let's make the connection. And uh, for simplicity, I want to swap between the uh, Ulink NT and the BDMNT. I have soldered uh, pin headers here, and the diagram shows this pin is ground, and on the BDM on the BDMNT ground pin is pin three, which is gray here, and the reset pin is um, pin seven, which is yellow, goes here. The um, B E R E R pin is on pin two. Let's click the thing. The ER pin 2, which is white. Then the uh, freeze is pin. No, clock is pin. Clock is pin 4, which is. Pin four, pin four is purple. Then the freeze is pin six, which is green. And then the DSI is pin eight, orange and brown. Is DSO. Now the connection for here we need a 100 ohm, a 150 ohm resistor, and this is the power. So BDM pin one is this side. Let's connect the pin BDM and connect it. Let's give power and power 12 volt. So let's. And we can detect the flash. Now let's read the ba backup. And I, since I already read this thing, so let's do a verify, which is the, then let's do the erase. And I think it will fail because it's all erased. Let's initialize it. Right click here, initialization, and then confirm it's erased. Now let's program it. And in 1.25, we already solved the issue, so we can use the maximum BDM clock, which is the 6 megahertz. And let's verify it. So it's very easy to use BDM NT. Now let's switch to the Ulink NT. Power off and unplace all the pin headers. Same same wire, same ticket here. Let's check the connection. And on the right side is Ulink NT. Ulink NT ground pin is second pin, which is white. So go here is ground. Reset pin is uh, pin five, which is blue. And green is the clock. Um, freeze is gray. And then the BER is purple. Then the DSI is orange. DSO, not brown. DSI is brown and DSO is orange and ground. So. Connect the this thing, and then we can power on. The Ulink NT maximum speed is nine megahertz, and we have seen this is detected, and then we can 
trying to verify yes we can and the speed is a little bit faster so let's try to erase as well and compare the data yes it's erased so let's program back and uh, speed is almost identical because programming is, takes longer and we can verify so in this video we can see on the ECU 411 Ulink NT works just as good as the BDM NT and a little bit faster when doing the read because the running clock is 9 megahertz instead of 6 megahertz